Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can download older versions of programs using a website called oldversion.com. So uh, on our preferred web browser, just type in oldversion.com or uh, uh, just type old version. Uh, we'll, I will give you guys a link in the description down below. <coughs> give you a link in the description down below so you can just instantly get redirected to the website. So uh, uh, if you type it like this, you'll get this... Um, uh, first result on the top. Now it is sec not secure. Pay attention, cause uh, there could be some uh, software here that could be malicious. So just a uh, heads up before you know somebody tells me why I'm like having like malware and all that stuff. Uh, just remember, you know, download the older versions of programs is a little bit of a risk. So just pay attention while you're doing it. So uh, obviously this is the home screen of the website. So on top you got a search bar. So you can type in any program you want, say for example Chrome, and then just hit enter, and then it gives you, uh, yep, on the second result, surprisingly, I, f I thought it was going to be the first result, but whatever. Second result, Google Chrome, then click on that, and then you basically get a nice menu over here, and it tells you the official website of the program, as well as the company that has developed said program, and then the recently added versions, and the most popular version of the program. Same thing over here with the ratings and the release date and the size in megabytes or gigabytes depending on the size of the program and the amount of downloads and it also tells you that it is tested for free, free from spyware. So as you can see it gives you a gigantic table of um, versions over here. Every single version of Google Chrome that they currently have in store and uh, some of these uh, it's, it's supposed to tell you the, the release date but some of them they don't have the release date which is perfectly fine. So some of them are from 2010, 2012, 2011, 2013, and all that stuff. So, yeah, if we go to the final one over here, for example, just an example, we're going to click on the latest version. So this is really good for, like, oh, uh, virtual machines and all that. You know, because if you use, uh, because there are some, uh, or not some, there are lots of operating systems that are out of support nowadays, like, for example, Windows Vista, and not that long ago, Windows 7. Windows 7... Uh, Google Chrome for Windows 7, not that long ago, it was out of support, so that is a little sad, so to uh, kind of bypass that, uh, you ca you're gonna have to go to these websites to download an older version of the program so it can actually work. So yeah, it's good for virtual machines, that's basically what I'm trying to say. So yep, you just hit download now, and then once uh, you click download now, it's gonna tell you if it if the download doesn't start in like a few seconds, just click uh, on uh, the word click here, and once you click on that word, it's going to uh, give you the actual download without having to wait for it. So yeah, there we go. And then over here, this is just a gi uh, this just is just a description for the uh, software that you're looking for. And then you got the comments regarding the software. And that's basically an example of how to download any program you want. Let's go back to the home screen. Let's go back to the home screen, and as you can see. Uh, it also has it divided over here to uh, five types, or not five types, but rather five versions. So we got the Windows, so software for Windows, uh, Mac, uh, software for Mac, software for uh, Linux, software for Android, and also a games section. So this is basically a uh, link that gets you to the games that you can download. So obviously over here we have, oh, also on the right side, I forgot about that. You can upload any software you want, so for, say for example... Uh, I just downloaded the latest version of Google Chrome, and I just want to upload it here so people can, uh, like in a few years, can uh, be able to download it. Let me just check one thing with the microphone. Do you guys hear me? I think you guys hear me. Alright, there we go. Much better. I, ho I hope it's much better. Alright, sorry about that. Some technical difficulties. Anyway, so let's go back here. Upload software. You can upload any software you want. Just like I said, what if I, for example, have a version of Google Chrome. I just click update, upload software, and it's uploads the software for me i pick uh, i believe you can pick the file you want yeah you have to do some things yeah you have to do a lot of things actually so we got the forum the blog for old version register login so this is how you can log in all that stuff uh i know i say all that stuff a lot but <laughs> just bear with me so you can also switch to other languages like arabic you know and japanese and chinese and russian and french etc all right, now we can go back to this section, which is the most important. So they also have a library of programs 
uh, divided into categories so they're filtered into many categories uh, for example internet graphics uh, utilities and networking and etc there are lots of other categories to look for and you can also view more so utilities you know for example WinRAR you just do the same things that I just showed you with Google Chrome it's basically the exact same thing so yeah so up here we also have uh, five sections so this is the popular versions uh, popular old programs here so Skype seems to be very popular with over t almost 2 million downloads and then over here MSN Messenger 8.0 uh, seems to have almost a million so lots of downloads for all these uh, older programs you also have the recently added programs so VirtualBox 4.2 Skype Beta uh, 0.95 CCleaner 4.14 and etc and also, again, uh, lots of these have uh, hundreds of thousands of downloads, thousands of downloads, millions of downloads. We also have Editor's Choice. So these are like the ch uh, best programs, basically, like sort of the most recommended programs by the editors. So kind of the creators, I believe, of old version. We also have the top rated programs. So ICQ being the top rated, in addition to Minicam, MSN Messenger, and lots of MSN Messenger versions and Minicam versions, and Skype versions, too. We also have read more, so this is basically uh, it tells you sort of a uh, brief description of old version. That's basically what's over here. On the right, we have win so it's kind of the same thing up, up here, just so sort of different with Windows, Mac, Linux, all that stuff. We also have a list of the top five contrib contributors uh, with points. You can also upload software, which is same thing over here. You can also see more users that are uh, part of the contrib uh, contributors list. And here, basically, site links, categories, which, again, is here and here. I don't know why they have to put it three times, but whatever. Uh, follow old version, which is also here. So you can follow them on RSS, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and... Is this Google Plus? Are you kidding me? They still have Google Plus? That's a little weird. I don't think that works. So, yep, that's basically it for this lovely website. Of course, before I finish off the video, just beware. There are some programs here that potentially have malware. So if you have malware, don't come at me. Uh, don't tell me that um, you know, like the uh, I just got malware. It's because of you or because of someone and all that stuff. It's none of my business, and uh, frankly, you should be just sort of aware while you're doing stuff like this. Because you know, uh, downloading older versions of programs in the first place is a little bit of a risk. Just like in, just like I said in the start of the video. So that's basically it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and see you.